welcome back to my channel. So today, oh, <laughs> I'm filming a highly requested video, which is my one year pup date video. Mm. Oh, as you guys may or may not know, I have a puppy. I have a little cockapoo. His name is Rue. And he turned one years old actually on the 10th of February. So a little while ago now, a month ago today, actually. You're a year and a month old, Rue Rue. Yeah, I have said that I would do a little pup date video, he's currently trying to eat me, but yes, so in case you don't know, Rue is a cockapoo, he looked very different when he was a little puppy, I'll insert a picture or a clip here um, of what he looked like, but you can go back and watch literally the entire thing, so before I got him, like me buying stuff for him, and then me going to pick him up, literally we have, I have everything on this channel of that. I've got a six month pup date and stuff like that as well. Morning routine with a puppy, I've got it all. So make sure you go watch them videos. I'll try and link as many as I can down below. I might even create a playlist with them all in so you guys can just easily find them all. But anyway guys, so yeah, I'm gonna do a little pup date video. He is a bit damp right now because I gave him a shower because we went for a really long walk and he got very muddy. So yeah, see him kind of popping up about in the, during this video but anyway so first things first so yeah he's a year old now so he is now getting so much better um so he's a cockapoo he is naughty as hell um but I, if you've seen like my previous videos you'll know kind of how he was naughty um he has stopped like doing a lot of things like one thing he's really good at now is going to sleep like literally we put him to bed no matter what time we put him to bed he will be absolutely fine. He'll sleep completely through the night until whenever we get up. He doesn't have his crate anymore. We got rid of that at around, I want to say like nine months, ten months. I can't remember. It was kind of like October, September time, September, like late September I'd say that we got rid of the crate. So yeah, we got rid of that and he just sleeps on the sofa now pretty much at night time. Um, he has like his blanket and it's just, he's so cute at night, he really is. He's really good on walks now as well. So I think I said before that he was really nervous of like other dogs and now he's like sometimes a little bit nervous with some dogs it's really weird because he's very like picky on what dogs he likes and dislikes but he's now like he wants to play with every dog but I don't let him off lead around other dogs because I don't know how he's gonna be so I need to go out with some friends dogs um, and see what he would be like with them but it's just really hard to find the time where we're all like free to do that so yeah I do put him on a lead when he's around other dogs but he cries every time we go near them but it's like an excitable cry like it's like a and then he like does the little pouncy thing and like jumps about which is kind of annoying but you know <laughs> I do let him off lead now which is something I was really nervous about because if you guys have been watching this channel for a while you will know that I had a dog before who unfortunately died a few months before we got Rue and he was a border terrier and border terriers are known for like going down rabbit holes chasing after little animals um, and running off basically so we could never let him off lead because of that whereas obviously Rue is a cockapoo and cockapoos do they're very clingy to their owners so they come back very easily and kind of stick with you um, so it was kind of me growing the confidence to let him off lead so now I do um, but I don't let him off near roads because he's pretty stupid so I think he would run into the road um, <laughs> and yeah like I said I don't let him off around other dogs but yeah he's he's really good though he comes back when he's called you're good aren't you yeah these are the best things you can buy though for your dogs I will say that now so these are antlers <laughs> he wants it he has been through we got him one when he was a little tiny puppy and he was obsessed with it then and he is still obsessed with it now like all he will do all day long is chew on these amazing they're the best things ever so get your dog an antler because it will also stop them from chewing other things. We've never had a problem actually with Rue chewing stuff which is really good. So yeah but he's obsessed with it. So if you can hear that weird like noise that's him chewing his antler on my lap. But yeah I love the fact that he's like a little lap dog though because like I said as well like border terriers they don't really do that. So my old dog yeah he'd never come and sit on your lap whereas Rue's always on my lap. But he is very clingy um, but that just is the nature of cockapoos really so can't really expect anything anything less as for leaving him home alone I always feel I feel so bad leaving him 
and it's like stupid it's more on my behalf but I know he's really good when we go out so we don't use the camera anymore when we go out um, and the longest I've probably left him for is like four or five hours um, which is what you're actually meant to do but obviously I just don't understand how people like there's literally people who have full-time jobs and just leave their dogs the entire day and like we used to do that with Ted because I used to have school my parents were at work like and that just I just don't quite understand I mean to be fair Ted was really good so we used to have like he could have the entire house whereas with Rue we shut him just in the kitchen slash living room area because he would end up messing up all my bed like because he tries and attacks like these two teddies <laughs> like <laughs> he will literally tear things apart so yeah we have to kind of keep him shut in whereas Ted just kind of like plodded around the house I know he was like old when we were in this house but still so yeah that's how long we leave him but like I'd love to know like what you guys do during the day because I feel I feel bad leaving him for any longer but I know he could but you know what I mean and like soon I will be working like after uni so I don't know I don't know what to do about that um I don't know whether to maybe get him in doggy daycare but then that gets expensive and it's like ugh, I don't know I don't know, I think I'm being really stupid about it, I think he could just be left longer, but like I just hate it, I hate leaving him. But yeah, no, he is really good when I go out and stuff, so. Also, we got him castrated, we were actually to, to, to wait, what's the word, to toying, toying, toying? We were trying to decide whether to make him a dad <laughs> and have puppies, or whether to get him castrated but yeah we went with the castrated option because we got told that it will calm him down quite a bit i don't know if it has i really don't know if it has guys um but you know it's good now because i can let him off lead and know that he's not going to be running up to dogs and making them pregnant you know so it's good in that sense but yeah so we got him castrated and we only got that done like a month ago actually literally just before his first birthday i felt so bad had a bit of a traumatic experience with that i won't lie so basically we took him Shh. basically we took him to get it done first thing in the morning so he couldn't eat anything Rue's just fallen off my bed he basically couldn't eat anything from the night before um so he couldn't have any breakfast we had to take him in at like eight half eight in the morning and then hello good boy oh <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. Yes, yeah, so we had to take him in really early in the morning. And then they were like, oh yeah, you should get a call by two o'clock like this afternoon. And if you don't have a call by then, call us. So I called them at two o'clock, having not heard anything. And they were like, oh yeah, he hasn't gone in yet. Bear in mind, he gets really anxious. So as soon as we go in the vets, he does like cry a lot. He hates it. Um, very similar to my old dog, actually. Um, so I was like, how has he gone? the whole day like in there like what have they done like if they like i don't understand how they put up with him for that long so i don't know if they did something to him but anyway yeah they were like yeah he's literally just about to go in and that was at 2 p.m so he'd been there waiting to have it done all day and then i went and collected him like a few hours later i don't know what time it was probably like four or five and oh my god the poor baby so we didn't have a cone we had the like suit that you can have oh my god he was so swollen it was bleeding everywhere i had to go to the emergency vets the next day and the day after that literally had to do like daily vets because it, he was so bad and yeah it was a very traumatic experience rue hated it rue was really not loving life i felt awful <laughs> but yeah it, it was done now and he has healed up really well now so that's all good but it was very worrying at the time but that's another thing about like costs obviously i've spoken about costs in the last few videos so that castration literally cost like i think it was like i don't remember i feel like it was like 270 pounds but i think that was also including his flea and worming tablets which is really expensive you know um but it's kind of something that really has to be done um so yeah dogs are pricey guys dogs are pricey <laughs> and then you had to pay like 15 20 pounds i think it was like 17 pounds for the dog suit but that was kind of better i think it was just a bit of a nightmare really guys like <laughs> it was traumatic for us all but yeah so we had that done at just under a year Rue is doing really good at the moment i'm probably not going to do any more pup dates after this but i know you guys absolutely love Rue and you're always asking for more videos of him in so i'm trying to like think of like other things 
like what else do I have to update you guys on about him? He has this thing, he loves sticks. He loves finding sticks on a walk, which is kind of bad because he tries to eat them. <laughs> yeah, you do, don't you? He is literally the most energetic dog ever though. Like I can literally take him on like three walks a day where he's awfully running like crazy, go really far. He will never be exhausted. He will never <laughs> be tired. So yeah, he is absolutely crazy. Like if you're thinking about getting a cockapoo, like be warned, like they need a lot of exercise and they're always like bored, always attention seeking, always like just clingy. Bru, what are you doing? <laughs> so yeah. Also with his hair, like his hair grows so quickly. Like he's due for a haircut, he's having one next week. You can see like how hairy he is right now. Talking about you, yeah. Um, yeah, he's super hairy right now and we literally have to have him done like every two months. Whereas my other dog was literally done like twice a year. So yeah, obviously that's another really expensive thing about having cockapoo is their hair grows so quickly. And also it's quite annoying because you have to literally brush them like every other day. Or to be honest, you should probably do it every day. Like their hair is so tangly. Like he's just constantly knotty and it's really annoying. You literally have to brush him all the time. Otherwise he literally gets mats in his hair and I literally pull so much out. But he doesn't molt, which is good because obviously they're mixed with a poodle which don't molt. So that's good, isn't it, Rue? Um, but another thing is that when we go for a walk, like he gets so unbelievably muddy. It's crazy. So I'm constantly having to wash him. But his word for advice, of advice, um, if you have a dog who doesn't like going in the bath, this one doesn't. Um, basically, I used to always bar put him in the bath and then use the shower head and like shower him down but he could then jump out and that kind of made it really annoying there was like water everywhere made the whole bathroom like a mess and it would just be a pain um but the past few days i've been showering him in my mum's shower which is like just a normal like rectangular <laughs> shower with a door so i get in the shower with him now grab the like the shower hose and we'll shower him down and then he's like staying in one like unit and he just prefers it so much more i think probably because i'm in there with him um but that has been a lifesaver really because that's really like made life a lot easier having to clean him <laughs> but yeah he just gets muddy all the time because of his fur and everything yeah they are very high maintenance cockapoos i will say that i'm trying to think like i was like yes i'm gonna do this one year video i feel like i should have asked some questions on my instagram or something because i genuinely don't know what else to talk about now <laughs> but i know you guys love seeing Rue, like i said and i know you guys wanted a one year pup day um but yeah apparently also i heard something saying that cockapoos don't actually calm down until they're five years old so we've got another four years of him being absolutely crazy but yeah, I literally love him to pieces. Like, he's the best thing ever. Little baby, you gonna say goodbye? You gonna say goodbye to the camera? Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Mm. Oh. Oh my god, Rube, what's that? I've got new bedding on, guys, and he's put muddy paw prints on it. That's another thing. Bad thing. He likes to chew, don't you? You, don't, you like to chew me. <laughs> okay guys so this is the end of this video i'm really sorry it wasn't actually as good as i thought it was gonna be but um i hope it helped you a little bit if you're looking into getting a cockapoo and you wanted to know what they're like at around one years old he's definitely calmed down a lot more since puppy and he is getting better but he's still very naughty i feel like cockapoos just are naughty but <laughs> yeah he's definitely grown so much just in himself and he is really good now bless him but yeah guys so i hope you did enjoy this video if you did make sure to smash the thumbs up button also make sure to check out my social media which is on the screen now and subscribe if you haven't already but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you all very very soon with a new one bye you say bye Rue. you say bye bye <laughs> oh <laughs> say bye